Does someone have to have it wrong for you to have it right? I'm Keith. And I'm Rodney, and this is the Dad Chronicle. Nailed it. And we are leaving videos for our daughters. I actually do... do you do videos for your daughters. I do videos mm-hmm. for my daughters to them directly. Yeah. We're doing this as a team because we're best friends. And we're, a lot of videos. A lot of videos. <laughs> Get ready, girls. Get ready. We're leaving tidbits for our future selves to remind us of where we came from and to remind us of who we are and to build community with you. And... Does someone have to have it wrong for you to have it right? I'm just going to go ahead and just give this a binary answer and say no. But what do you think? Yeah, so it, this came up. I was watching a random LinkedIn video the other day. It was last week. And it said, it started off, this is what they all have wrong about this particular thing. I don't remember exactly what it was. And it made me think You're about all this. wrong. Because I think about this a lot as we build or as we have been building consulting and the things that we do and the efforts that we put in, like there is that underpin of zero sum and competition that is fairly American that essentially says in order to have value, it's not that you just have to differentiate yourself. You you really have to show something new and that something new often means someone else has it wrong and I started thinking about it and I'm like you know that in the space that we're in in the space that that video was in um, as it relates to human interactions connection behavior all of those things the answer is no people have it right for certain people Other people have it right for other types of people that will hear and deliver their message. And it doesn't, there doesn't have to be one way versus another way of doing any one thing. And that what you do may resonate with a million people. What they do may resonate with 10 million people. But at the end of the day, you're both making an impact and hopefully delivering for, for the betterment of other people's lives. So um, I'm trying you want to, to eat it again? Reason, reason I wanted to talk about it is because I think about it from our stuff and it is a mindset that I have had a difficult time shifting away from. Mm. What, why do you think that is like, what, what is it? Did you just buy into in order for you to have value? Others have to have less. I mean, you think, what? you think about the, the competition that we're in from a corporate tech perspective, right? Yeah. Like when you start out Microsoft or a Google, you're taught that the other organization is the enemy. They're your competition. You, They're keeping you, you from a raise, from a bonus, from a. You're you're taught that you need to understand your value as it relates to their value, so you can understand what you do better than them and what they do worse than you, right? Versus where they may fit and where we may fit. And ultimately positioning it in such a way that says, this is why you want my stuff. It really doesn't matter. And I'm often reminded of Simon Sinek's story about um, when he when he talks to the Apple executive about the Zoom, um, uh, the Zoom, I'm sorry, the Microsoft Zoom, Microsoft Zoom. And the the executive said, cool, I bet it is a better product like without without pause or hesitation because they're more concerned about what they're trying to deliver as an organization and other people can deliver what they want to deliver as an organization um and i and i just think there's uh, such value in that mindset because it keeps you laser focused on the thing that you're trying to do and just understanding what else exists out there so you can adapt modify maybe get better based on based on what other people do and learn and and on that, you know, on that the Zoom point from the Apple exec, um, any economics actually prove this in an interesting way because I think people often look at capitalism and say it's the driving force. But if we looked at the reality, some of the realities in in even capitalism, um, every single market space can withstand two to three to four, maybe even five 
top companies or products. Um, I'm not even going to use the word from competitors. It's like products that can all thrive and have very healthy and growing businesses despite their competition with each other. Um, yet we tend to look at it like, nah, I've got to be the best. Uh, and it's such a limiting view. It's, it's almost an all or nothing view when really there's so much to go around. Over, three, over 300 million people in the U.S., it's, you know, uh, I think we talked about it briefly the other day. Fox News has a million viewers a day, approximately, yeah. give or take. Yeah. Um, other news outlets, probably similar. That's not even a drop in the bucket of how many potential viewers there are, yet they thrive. And I, I, this isn't a, an op-ed piece on how I feel about Fox News. This is just to say, like, for them to succeed... You don't have to fail. Right. I, I just, there is, there, it, 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 it's just a false narrative that Tommy on my team has to do bad poorly for me to win. It's just, which is, which is, to me, super counterproductive, counterintuitive. Cause like, but he's on my team. I need the, my teammates to do it. The thing, it, Blackberry still exists. Right. Yeah. I mean, you you look at some of you watching don't even know what BlackBerry is, <laughs> but it's still. I exists. bet our editor, our editor might know. Our interns might not know. Yeah. You know, Xerox still exists. Kodak still exists. Like these are organizations that maybe were at the top. They still exist. They still function and offer. They may not be the best of the best, but listen, in a finite game or in a sports game, in the NFL, there are 32 teams. We don't, we don't go at the end of every year as fans or teammates and say, well, that team is the Super Bowl, so I guess let's get rid of the rest of the rest of the teams because there's no need for us to be here, right? They this still drop back fans. This zero-sum still, game. Yeah. This goes back to zero-sum game, right? It's not a, it is not zero-sum. It is not – right. they win and everything else is nuked off the planet. Like, it's – <laughs> it just can't work. It doesn't. It just. It just. Things. It just doesn't work. So if you have an idea, that idea doesn't need to be rooted in someone else's idea being wrong. It can just be rooted in the idea that it will work for people that you're trying to go after and help build and develop and, and promote your cause. So um, it, it can be. It's just what's shown. Like if you if you look at Apple, based on that. Yeah. If you look at the new Microsoft with Satya. Um, I mean, he's very publicly, Satya Nadella has very publicly said, we're not chasing Apple. We're not chasing right. other products. We're not trying to make our product better than theirs. We're trying to make the best product for us that will connect with you, user, company, uh, partner, et cetera, because that's the thing. Like, when you're chasing, you're missing all kinds of other stuff. You're not connecting it's, to it's, integrity. and It's one of my favorite things, and we'll stop here unless you have a thought, but it's one of my favorite things in the ecosystem when you teach someone who may be not as versed on Microsoft stack that more than what 60% of workloads running in our, our data center cloud are running on Linux and not on windows. And it, it's that old mentality of what, but now it's that growth. And, and you just see it in the organization, the growth, the brand, the way people respond to Microsoft is very different than it used to be. So, yeah. and heck, Microsoft may own TikTok soon. That's a whole topic. <laughs> that is a, a whole, whole topic. topic. I have thoughts. I have thoughts <laughs> from the Donald to the Microsoft to my beloved TikTok. <laughs> uh, All right, what, what, what do y'all think? Do you, is, it, is it, does someone else have to be wrong for you to be right? All right. Reese says, right. What, interpret that. What did she say? <laughs> interpret that. 